I am present, I am living everything I envisioned. And at the end of July 1st, Saturday night, it's just gonna be another icing on another cake. Uh, when I win against Savannah Marshall, um, thank you to Manchester. You guys have been very hospitable. Thank you to Sky, to Boxer for partnering with the Heavy Hit and Diva promotions. And shout out to ESPN for getting us shown in the United States, around the world. Um, I, I mean, I've been looking at the promotion and, you know, that energy is very different. When I'm in Savannah's presence, she has nothing to say. But when she's doing interviews, she has so much to say. And I just ask that she keeps that same energy. Keep that same energy. Are you as confident now camp is over? You were co confident before, but now you've done the, the 10 or 12 weeks it's been, um, and, you've, and you've worked on a game plan alongside uh, Headbangers and, and your trainer. Um, are you more confident, as confident? What would you say? I mean, I love the reference that Ben gave that this would be a heavy metal, because I mean, my gym is called Headbangers, because that's what we do. I want to shout out my family in Florida and my husband, Glenn. We've been putting a lot of work in, and as you can see, from this picture to what you see right now, I definitely came to work. I didn't come to play, I didn't come to be friends, I came to kick her ass, straight like that. You referenced uh, that you feel that Savannah is different in interviews to when she's in your presence. Do you uh, crave that, that verbal battle? Um, does it matter to you if you don't get it today? No, the, the contract is signed and we're gonna fight on Saturday night. Trust me, I'm not like her. Unfortunately, she got a defeat because she underestimated. That's what happens when you get content. That's what happens when you think everything is gonna be given to you. You let somebody come in your hometown and beat you, dog walk you, and that is not Alicia Baumgartner's word, but you let somebody come and take something that you thought was yours because you got com complacent. That's you, that's not me, I don't have to deal with that. You don't have to say anything. You feel my energy. Go I ahead. You didn't get complacent at all. Yes, you did. And you blame your trainer. And you blame your trainer. I didn't blame Peter at all. Yes, you did. No, I never. I was, that's what went wrong, went wrong. And I said, ask Peter. So that's not so, me blaming him. So how are you going to make it right on a whole different fighter? You're nothing like Clarissa. So how are you going to make it you're right on me? You're nothing like Clarissa Franchin. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're nothing like Clarissa. And you're not going to dog walk me at all. Ooh. You got some you like that one. now. You like that yeah, one? I need that. I brought her. It's got I spicy. We're here. Because you know Maria, what? I, got I, I understand. Days. I know it's very difficult when you're in front of your friends. I know the same thing. You're not going to beat me up or verbally assault me in front of my friends. So do what you have to do to feel good. Do what I don't you have, have to, to do the, to feel the, like something because I don't want The reality excuse. of it is, Franchin, I don't have to say anything. I'm a better fighter than you. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm a better Check fighter than you. Check the resume. Where you and at? You started at Super Middleweight. We started pro at the same time. Why yeah, did we did. To, we did. Why did you try to skip, we did. skip the, 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 around the and get the easy way? The difference between me and you is. Way. This is the difference between tell me and you, please right? Please tell me. Tell me. You sit about on your lazy ass, waiting for opportunities. This is why you've boxed twice in two years. The difference was me. I was at Super Middle. You didn't entertain me. You didn't give me a shot. You didn't want to know. You so I moved up. <laughs> so you think I moved up to light heavy where there was a title shot for me. Fell through. Again, no title shot for me at Super Middle. So I moved down to middle of box Hannah Rankin. Same with Shadisa Green. She sat as your mandatory for over a year, and you don't want to know. So what? Who's the mug here? But listen, who's the listen, mug? I'm trying to figure out. Do you want me to, to out, get myself in position where I'm a mandatory and wait I'm about for you to give me a title how, shot? I'm trying to figure no, out how I'm not creating my own opportunities yeah. when I'm in your about hometown, on your sewing machine, headlining well, in your country. Find opportunities. You I'm see how you have things given to me on a silver platter? Like what? You've given me involuntary defense. You finished. Wow. You finished. You're so the good so I can read you for Phil. That's the only Are thing you you've given to me. A voluntary how, defense. How, how, Why wait? Because you didn't want to entertain your mandatory. And how that's you, what it boils down to. How are you going to say, for, I'm going I'm to just rip you apart from your first line. How are you going to say I sit on my lazy ass when it took you five you, minutes you boxed, to introduce boxed, me because boxed, I do so many right. things? Hold up, I Sweat. gave you time. I gave you time. Right, Let's okay, be respectful. Okay. How can you say that I sat on my lazy ass and didn't create an opportunity when you fight on the card that I'm co-promoting? My name is the heavy hitting deep promotion. Co-promoting because okay. no one else wants to promote you. Hey, baby, baby, but listen, how am I sitting on my lazy ass yeah. not creating opportunities when you got hustle personified right here? Don't you, ever play with me or play with Frank my Chin, name. there's no one else in the division. Because you know there's why? There's no one else. Let me division. tell you, let me tell you something. 
I'm, I self-managed myself no for 90% of my career. Yeah. I made deals with Golden Boy. I made deals with all these other Good promoters. Good on you. Good on you. When you, you had things couch, handed to you, you, why did you leave America? Why did you leave? Because why the opportunity leave? wasn't Baby, there Baby, I've been there. I was there. I've and been fight there. Went through, fight I'm went still through. here. I haven't got time but to But your opportunity about. is here I haven't now. Got time and all you do is talk about Clarissa because you so butt hurt because you lost. Let me tell you. Let me tell you the difference. Let me tell. No. Listen. Let me tell you the difference. Let no one knew what you were till you called me, me out tell, on that show. Let me tell now, you. all of a sudden, you try to care. sell, this, try to sell singles. The difference you know I mean? is the reason why you're not the on top of the pops. Is, the difference is, and I hope Clarissa's watching. The difference is, is, I took a fight with that woman, a two-time right, about gold ten years ago, on a ten, a two and a half week notice. I lost, and I'm right here, undisputed. Well History. done. Well I did done. that. Let me tell you something. You had ten years, ten rounds. 10 months to prepare, you couldn't even do it. So don't you ever disrespect me like that. Listen, you trying to write your wrongs and you got promoters like Ben. You got promoters like Ben. Shout out to Ben, who still give you opportunity that you don't deserve. So you better kiss you my know, feet and be happy I came to the ring to give Good you opportunity. Story. You, you should be happy. You called me be out. Happy. That's the difference here. Let's, she hey, called me out. Let's talk. She's making out like I've been for this fight. Listen. She called me out. Listen. That's the difference. But listen. So all this crap I've had stuff given to me on silver plates. But when those ringside rankings come out, when those show, ringside ranking comes out, this platform, ring look, magazine records, rankings, pound for pound, pound list, pound for pound list, a little pop up shop in the AO arena selling garments, okay. probably promoted by heavy hitting promotions. Let me, just, let me just interject for a second. Speak <coughs> facts, Savannah. Speak facts. That's all I ask. I've, baby got, girl. I've got one more question for you, Franchon. What mm -hmm. sort of a fight are you expecting? For Savannah, this is all great. Everyone's enjoying the, the trash talk, but the business end of it, when the lights come down, it's just you, her, and the referee. What sort of fight are you actually expecting? You know what? I want y'all to close your eyes and envision that. I'm going to tell you the difference. Because if you took all these cameras, all these people, take all the crowd, and just put me and her in the gym with ourselves, I'll show you what kind of fight. You know what kind of fight it is. But to you, you think I'm going to be so stupid. And for you to insult me like I ain't been kicking ass in the amateurs right alongside you. I ain't been kicking ass in the pros right alongside you to insult me and say the only hope I have to win is coming in reckless and stupid. No, don't project on me. That's what you hope I do because that's the only way you think you can beat me. I'm better than you. I'm more, versed, I'm more diverse than you. I done went through plenty of systems. You done got these opportunities. How you a two-time no you, Olympic you gold medalist? Know anything Girl, about please. You, don't you know never had I've competition over here in the UK since we gonna always bring up Clarissa because that's your, that's your secret place in your mind that you go to to feel like something because she took your soul. I'm here to close the mm -hmm. casket. I'm here to close the casket. I get asked about her. I get asked about her. Even this build-up. No one's asking no, about Frenchie Cruz. It don't asking matter. About the rematch with Clarissa. Check them so history books. Check them history books. I even got your sidekick, April Hunt, and her sister shook, shook, shook. See, see, this is what you had to do with Clarissa. This is the difference. When, when Clarissa came, oh, we got to jump her. We got to be disrespectful to an undisputed champion, a two-time Olympic gold medal to a fucking bum who ain't even earned the right to even Hang say on, anything what are you to doing? them. What are you to, doing? No, I'm what telling you, you doing? don't worry about what, what I'm doing. doing. Is that going to get you ready to fight? No, what are you this, doing? no because y'all disrespected greatness. Y'all disrespected greatness for no quit. reason. And it shouldn't get have it, happened. Quit, and you're not going to play with me. So you can insult you and Peter think you're going to come in crazy. No, what it is, because I've actually spoke up. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm sick of this dog walking crap. What are you going on about? Silver platters. Let me, um, let me come to you now, Savannah. I, I had written down that maybe your quietness uh, was, was uh, mistaken for a lack of confidence, but I'm going to scrub that from the record today. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a new weight, but the goal remains the same for you? 100%, yeah. New weight, a lot more natural for me. Um, I'm feeling a lot stronger, and this is it, two days away. I'll ask the same question, what sort of fight are you expecting? Um, I wrote down, Franchon said there that uh, she feels that she's more diverse than you, that more adaptive, she can, um, she can change her game plan on the fly. Um, do you think that she has been pigeonholed a little bit into this pressure fighter, aggressive fighter, that maybe her technical boxing skills are being overlooked. What have you and Peter Fury, without saying too much, what have you identified? 
Um, look, she's undisputed champion for a reason. She's strong, she's tough. She uses, her, she uses her strength, she uses her weight, she's very unorthodox, and she's a strong pressure fighter. Do you think, this is a strange question as well, but we might as well go there, do you think that actually there is some respect between the two of you despite the last sort of, of 15 course, minutes Of course, of course, of course. Like, this is why people draw to me, because I am real. I'm a student of this game, and I've been in this game for a long time, just like she's been a long time. If I was to sit here and take away what she has, you can't take history book away. She is a two-time Olympic uh, participant. She is a former world champion. That's why I want to fight you. Yes, you have a country behind you, but that's why I want to fight you, because at the end of the day, it's bigger than me. When I hang up the gloves, they're going to see that two women can headline a card and put on a great night of fighting. I'm coming to fight, but it's bigger than me. It's bigger than me. You could throw sticks. You could talk all you want. I, I can't fight. I'm this, that, and the third. I'm a goon. I am a goon, I am hustle personified, and I'm here because I work my ass off to be here. And if anybody think they're gonna take anything from me, that's Boxer, that's Savannah, that's Peter, that's the whole crew, they got another thing coming, because I'm willing to die. And you laugh now, you gonna cry later, April. Make sure you good for your fight. Where's she at, where's she at? You just got verbally assaulted, calm down. <laughs> Is there something there that you both agree on that actually October, the big question after that was where does the sport go next? How can we capitalize on that? And do you think actually that those seeds that were planted on that night are already starting to grow now? Uh, the fact that we're back here, we're headlining, um, yes, albeit in different circumstances, but we're headlining again with an undisputed fight shows that you've succeeded in that respect. Yeah, 100%. The, the reception I got in the O2 was absolutely massive. Um, the whole country's just got behind female sport. And I feel like me and all the other female boxers are just riding this massive wave. The fact that, you know, the main event fell through and Boxer and Sky still went, still went ahead with the shows, me and Franchin headlining is just amazing. Yes, it is. I agree. And, you know, without sort of kicking a hornet's nest that doesn't really need any, <laughs> any more kicking, but, you know, why not? Um, you were heavy-handed at the weight below. Everybody knew that. The record said as much. Do you believe that you're bringing that power up? And it's worth asking the question, do you believe you, you, you hit hard enough to win this fight by knockout? Yeah, 100%. I'm a, like I said, I'm, I'm not having to struggle to make the weight. I, I always made middle weight. I always made it properly, but it, it, was, a, it was a bit of a struggle. This, this time, it's, it's been a lot more easier. The camp's been a lot more enjoyable. I'm having, not having to bring my weight down a lot earlier. So... Yeah, I don't see why not. Okay, let's all take a breath and shift down a gear. I'm going to bring in <laughs> Peter. So what happens when you're second class, you see? <laughs> yeah, so uh, basically, we're always working on improvements and stuff. And yeah, we've been in the gym, and we have made some significant improvements. Um, so I'm very happy where we are. And um, but I don't want to second what Peter said as well. This is about legacies. It's about uh, fighters fighting the best, and they should pit against the best. There's too much protection of fighters, too much business involved. Everybody wants this, everybody wants that. But at the end of the day, it comes down to the best fighting the best. And when he said this fight took five minutes to make, because I think we all know me and the small team around me will step up to the plate. And this is what it's about. There's no guarantees who's going to win this fight. They're both good fighters. And, I, and I'm excited to see this fight as well because I want, to see, I want to see a good fight. I want to see proper fights, not picked fights. Every time I'm in a ring, it's a big fight. It's going to be proper. It's going to be entertaining. Trust well, it will be. And at the end of the day, you know, I'm best of luck to both of them. And the thing is, as well, we appreciate you coming over here, bringing the belt, putting it on the line. So, mm -hmm. listen, there's no badness from me. There's no animosity from me. I respect all good fighters. Mm -hmm. And I want to see a good fight, and we're going to get it. And listen, whatever happens, happens. But look. I'm a window, Peter. No, but listen. <laughs> hey, there's no guarantees in this life. I want to win the lottery, but I haven't won yet. <laughs> but the thing is, it's like anything else. We'll train hard. She's trained very hard. She's ticked all the boxes. There's no excuses. And the thing is, what it comes down to, you can, look, you can have the best trainers. You can have everything. You can have Einstein in the corner. But when it comes down to it, and you're in these 50-50 fights, you've got to have something inside you which is a little bit special. And you've got to dig to places that you don't want to be. And you've got to adjust on your feet and think for yourself in there, 
You know, nobody, no trainer's got a key in a world-class fighter's back and keeps turning it. We're here to advise, point out things, but ultimately it comes down when you're in 50-50 fights. You preach into the choir. Who is the, same who thing is I the said best fighter? When I came here. So at the end I'm of the day, that that's where that. we are. It's so some things you can't see. teach. And let's you're see, see, and I want to see. Welcome to my world, Savannah. Let's see. I'm going to take you into the darkness. I'm going to take you into the deep waters. I'm going to show you what it means to be a winner. I'm going to show you what it means to be a winner. You, if, hey, I'll give it to you. If you beat me, all has to you. I'm happy because you know what? I touched the soul and made them better. But it's not going to happen. <laughs> I was going to give you the opportunity to give a final message. Do you want to say anything else or was that it? Well, you yeah, kind of no, went there. I want to say uh, I wanted to show love to the UK. As you can see, I'm rocking the green. And I, hopefully I don't offend because I don't know thoroughly the culture, but Princess Diana was one of my favorite fashionistas and just personalities. So I just thank you guys for having me here. I hope to come back and visit and um, be prepared for a great night, July 1st. And Savannah, do you have a final <laughs> message? I think Peter stole your microphone. Just thank you to all the fans, everyone who's bought tickets. If it, if it wasn't for you, was out, you know, female boxing wouldn't be in this position. Yep. Um, thank you to everyone who's going to tune in on Saturday and trust me, it'll be a great fight. <laughs>